Welcome to this week's edition of Perspective. And today we delve into the matter of the president's frustrations. He has over uh, slightly over three years uh, to his end of term, and he has publicly known, uh, uh, made it known. Uh, to his political distractors and even supporters that he will not stand for uh, unkempt work and also he will not stand up for 2022 politics now as we speak. Well, uh, joining me on set, we have on my uh, immediate left, uh, we have Martin Andati, our resident uh, political analyst and governance expert. Karibu, Mr. Martin. Thank you. And uh, we also joined uh, by Mbakasi North MP, uh, Mr. James Gakuya. Welcome, Oshimeo. Thank you. Gentlemen, begin with, uh, thank you so much for making time for us. Uh, to begin with, uh, uh, I remember yesterday during, a, it was a, a religious meeting at the Kasarani, the president may also uh, vented his uh, political frustrations uh, to mostly leaders, targeted to leaders who are always on a campaign to talk about the 2022 uh, politics every time. It's not the first time, it's not the second time, Mr. Martin, the president is expressing the app. Uh, he's uh, also, he also hit out uh, apparently on his uh, backyard MPs mostly and also used uh, his uh, own mother tongue to vent out his frustrations. What exactly is happening? Is that the first time or the second time? Or the second time? I think, uh, you know, the Kikuyu nation is in a dilemma. Okay. Because uh, if you look at the history of uh, multi-party politics, yes. in 1992, mm -hmm. the Mount Kenya region, because the Mount Kenya region mostly votes as a block, yes. they had uh, very strong candidates in Matiba, the mm -hmm. late, mm -hmm. and uh, Mwai Kibaki. In uh, 1997, yes. Matiba was there, but he was not very strong. Mm -hmm. But Kibaki was still around. Yes. In 2002, you had Uhuru mm -hmm. and uh, Kibaki. Then, of course, uh, 2007, Kibaki was not, uh, retained the seat, mm -hmm. and Uhuru supported him. Yes. So Uhuru was the natural heir to Kibaki. Yes. But uh, now we have a situation where there doesn't seem to be a clear kingpin in the event that uh, Uhuru exits the scene. Mm -hmm. So that is causing uh, a bit of discomfort to the people because uh, the people there must be wondering uh, what is going to happen mm -hmm. when Uhuru exits. So th there, is, there are those fears. And of course, uh, there is also the issue of the MOU because uh, in 2013 they had the MOU. Although the history of MOUs in this country is uh, mm -hmm. very funny because they have never been honored from the one of NAC mm -hmm. in 2002. Then there was the one of, uh, of Kibaki and uh, Kalonzo. There was the one of Masali and Madimoni. Yes. So then Raila uh, and uh, mm -hmm. then the Raila and uh, Nasa. Yes. So they have all been dishonored. And the issues of the, the politics of betrayal you know, has also been there from starting from 1963. Mm -hmm. So all these factors, then, uh, you know, Uhuru is, more focused on the legacy. Yes, indeed. Then uh, the other guys are, uh, Ruto is looking for consolidating his uh, position for 2022. Mm -hmm. So there is that conflict because uh, he, is he is a deputy president. They came in as a, a pair. But you see, uh, much as he would want to help the president uh, uh, succeed and achieve his legacy, mm -hmm. You see, he's also keen on uh, leveraging on that so that uh, it gives him an edge when the elections are called in 2022. Yes. So, of course, there is also the issue of the MO, the arrangement between uh, Raila and uh, the handshake between Raila and uh, President Uhuru, yes. which uh, changed the dynamics in our politics. So, all those factors combined, now they changed uh, the way things were being done, and I think. Uh, the people around Uhuru, uh, Ruto have not been very happy mm -hmm. with the entry of Raila in the equation. Mm -hmm. Of course, they have openly said that they don't, uh, they're not very happy yes. with the way that uh, arrangement was done. Yes. So th there is the conflict because Uhuru was initially very busy focused on, uh, on getting the legacy. Yes. And Ruto is busy campaigning for 2022. Mm -hmm. So it causes that conflict because one is going this side, the other one is going that side. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, uh, the president now resorting to vernacular. Yes. 
You know, if you want to abuse somebody, very effectively, you do it in vernacular. <laughs> it carries, uh, you no know, weight. if, I, if I, I, I tell you your mother in English, it has mm. no weight. Yes. But if I call, uh, I abuse you yes. using your mother, yes. you know, it has a lot of weight. Yeah. So basically, he was uh, sending a message to his the market, Kikuyu and right? the Mount Kenya region. Yes. Was, uh, the speech was very loaded. Yes. Yes, because there have been distortions here and there in terms of the translation. Yes. But by and large, the me message was, uh, was sent out there. And it was very loud and clear that uh, he would want, uh, he is still going to remain relevant. So it, it, it's a challenge mm -hmm. because uh, you are exiting, mm -hmm. but you still have to try to remain, maintain influence. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, Moshimua, uh, you support the president. And uh, from his uh, frustrations of late is that it's like his backyard members who are supposed to hold him, who are supposed to uh, make sure that his legacy is as strong as it is or as strong as the president would love. Uh, perhaps it, a lot of uh, MPs from his backyard are not uh, really uh, following uh, the, that legacy and they just want to politics and polit to politic and politic and to uh, do a lot of politics before the 2022 campaigns. Yeah, first of all, allow me uh, to greet the viewers, whatever they are watching. Indeed. And uh, uh, coming to the, uh, the debate, let me see, uh, personally, I have undergone uh, various number of elections. Yes. Because I contested uh, my first uh, contest on, uh, during 1992, and I was unable to capture uh, the uh, councillors by then. Mm -hmm. But going by the history of this country, mm -hmm. it is true that in fact, uh, from the founding father of this country, mm -hmm. the Red Jomo Kenyatta, mm -hmm. uh, the keeping of uh, Central Region tilted mm -hmm. when Moy came to, uh, the, the, when, uh, to, the, to, the, to the limb of politics. Yes. And you know very well that in fact, mm -hmm. he uh, Moi ruled this country for a very long time, mm -hmm. uh, over 20 years. 24 years. And uh, that one, mm -hmm. uh, actually, it, uh, it left a lot of deficit in Central Region, where uh, Central Region was like it was uh, a, for a forgotten uh, area. Mm -hmm. And uh, during when the uh, politics started is when Matiba and uh, the late uh, Odinga and the rest we are mm -hmm. fighting for what we call Section 2 to make sure that this country becomes a multi-party country. Yes. And uh, I would say that, in fact, politics from that point, as uh, Martin has alluded very well about it, is mm -hmm. that uh, we had been having uh, not a single uh, spokesman in the region. Yes. Because, you know, it's very clear that it has central region by then, mm -hmm. after 1992, there was a strong impact of Matiba, mm -hmm. and also Kibaki was, mm -hmm. was also commanding a uh, areas within the region. But as of today, mm -hmm. let me say it's a bit unfortunate that uh, uh, this is the second uh, term of the incumbent. And uh, we find that as of now, mm -hmm. there is still uh, some unfilled gaps that, in fact, there is no outright successor mm -hmm. in uh, that. But is this the right time exactly? Because the president actually seems so frustrated at the point that he has to uh, communicate in the language that they understand best. Is it the right time? Because it's not the first time. One, one what I can tell you is that yes. in politics, uh -huh. there is no way you can rule out politics. Totality. T totally. Okay. And you see, this politician, you must shut up in mm -hmm. totality. Yes, you can persuade them, but you can't command them. Mm -hmm. The reason why mm -hmm. these politicians have been elected in the same route the president was elected. Yes. And actually, they command the voice of the people. Mm -hmm. So, wh how do they shut? If they, those actually they are voices of voices, mm -hmm. and that's why they present. What is lacking here is that, in fact, it lacks a point where mm -hmm. because the, the head of state is the father of the nation. And one well, well, I can describe him as the father of the ruling party. Mm -hmm. Yes. And when you find that, in fact, there are some uh, uh, kind of uh, divisions within, 
-hmm. What you need to do to, uh, to do as a father mm -hmm. is to put a fatherly advice mm -hmm. and make sure that you seal the gaps. But if you just leave them to grow, mm -hmm. they will grow and grow. And at a point when you will uh, be wishing to now to, uh, to bring together, mm -hmm. the camps will be so big and the division will be so big mm -hmm. that it might not be possible mm -hmm. to be collected. Okay. And this particular scenario, yes. the worst thing is that, in fact, the president has allowed mm -hmm. the politics of Tangatanga to go on, mm -hmm. and he's equally allowed the politics it's of okay. Kiereweke yes. to go on at the yes. same time. Uh -huh. And it looks as if he's we want to silence uh -huh. one part. Yes. When the other one is nobody's touching about. Okay. <laughs> then when we get <laughs> there, then it, yes. it, it, there be a big question comes. Yes. That who is Kyureke talking about? Exactly. Uh, without even uh, going to the to the groups itself, I'm quite sure he's looking uh, to leave the big four agenda as he placed it, as he told Kenyans that he was going to make sure that his big four agenda. Uh, is, uh, is uh, realized. And we saw in his previous government, Mr. Martin, we saw Akina uh, Kazum Ngukambi, Akina Chalitingilu, Akina people like um, Felix Kosgei, or the C some CS were actually dropped uh, because of what uh, some would say it was um, uh, because they were never charged in court or they were never uh, uh, touched on any corruption, but because he wanted peop uh, people who would. Uh, make sure that his legacy and his four, big four agenda is realized. Is he uh, still fighting for that uh, as, we, as we speak? Because you, yes. The end of it, let me say that, in fact, yes. he's very firm in realizing uh, what he call a legacy mm. and at least to fulfill the promise of the big four. Mm. Because I would say that, in fact, his selection of the big four yes. was at least to view how he can be able to propel this and transform this country. Mm -hmm. One, uh, this country is over 70 percent youth jobless, mm -hmm. and these youths, as they, 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 they uh, as they keep piling, yes, and no solutions are on the table, mm -hmm. then that's a very big danger for the country. Indeed, and therefore that is why the big for us, mal the manufacturing, yes, manufacturing is to address mm -hmm. the jobless. Mm -hmm. And then number two, when we talk of uh, food security. Also, we, we cannot have food security without creating jobs, because yes. that farming also is, is, is creates jobs. And therefore, <coughs> once, uh, let me not talk about, much about housing, though it's also uh, a good part of the big four. Yes. But uh, this country, it is upon, well, the president knows whether there's a big gap, mm -hmm. and that gap is how do you create jobs? Because when your manifesto, yes. it was very clear mm -hmm. that we must create this, this, this uh, yes, magnitude yes, of yes. jobs. It was very firm, yeah. actually. Th and therefore, uh -huh. it is, once you, the president wants to achieve that particular legacy, yes. it is true that actually the legacy cannot come from fame, yes. or from nowhere. Yes. It must come from a job done. Mm -hmm. And that the big four mm -hmm. has to be made sure that it, it works. And therefore, it propels and makes sure that, in fact, there is a room to create those particular jobs. Indeed. And in this particular moment, yes. I would say uh -huh. he has tried enough. Okay. And maybe what is lacking is that whip of his father. Because mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. I would challenge his bitterness and that kind and of and some action. And right? that kind of stress. Okay. Because as a head of state, okay. it is not supposed to be in the public. Yes. Because he has not tried to resolve it internally mm -hmm. and failed. Mm -hmm. so I think there is a, a process which which he has not taken mm -hmm. charge to make sure that, in fact, this matter does okay. not become public okay. as it's now gone. Okay. Uh, let me uh, uh, pose this question to Mr. Andati. Uh, after his, his frustrations, not only about uh, what the, the 2022 succession politics, also about uh, his big four agenda. And uh, you remember there's a time even asked, uh, uh, he actually wants his uh, big four agenda actualized. And uh, you see, you saw even the, the sports years, uh, Banas and Maria was, was set aside, and uh, because he has a case in court, is, is, is his frustration also uh, geared towards the Big Four agenda? You know, the Big Four has nothing to do with MPs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the greatest obstacles to the Big Four are two. He has a lot of mediocrity in the cabinet. Okay. Because uh, the, the most of the big four are supposed to be driven by the budget, the cabinet, mm -hmm. and uh, the civil service. Mm -hmm. Then uh, the other obstacle is uh, corruption. Mm -hmm. 
So if, if he is able to fight corruption and stop the proliferation of the money, then uh, he sucks some of those cabinet secrets because uh, more than a half of those fellows are moribund. They don't even know what they are doing in cabinet. Then uh, he will be able to achieve the big four because the MPs are not uh, implementers. Mm -hmm. You know, even the CDF Act does not allow uh, the Kuyo and uh, the rest of the fellows to implement projects. They are mm -hmm. only patrons. So what do you expect politicians to do? They will politic. They will, but it's even during Kibaki's time uh, and Rail as the current coalition government, we achieved the greatest uh, achievements and growth in this country. Mm -hmm. Yet there was a lot of politics. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, wh what else do you expect politicians to do? You are giving them so much money, you are not even giving them a house allowance of 250. So all they do is, uh, if the parliament is not in session, they'll be out there making noise. Mm -hmm. That is expected, you know? Mm -hmm. So trying to, and uh, he's raising a pertinent uh, point. Mm -hmm. What the president needs to do is uh, call a PG. Exactly. You see, the, the, the challenge is uh, the, the, there's not so much uh, room mm -hmm. for people to ventilate. You know, they don't call PG meetings. Uh -huh. So that uh, the people know that uh, on certain issues, the party position is like this. Then it becomes very easy. But you see, if you leave uh, uh, people out there, they mm -hmm. don't have room. And, uh, you know, they have been complaining that uh, the DP is more accessible than the president. Okay. Okay. Then uh, they will all uh, gravitate around there. So mm -hmm. that, that is part of the problem. And I think uh, the people, the advisors and the handlers of the president need to talk to him so mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. he's able to hold more PG meetings. Mm -hmm. and then uh, he should be able to consult with the MPs more. Mm -hmm. then uh, improve a bit of the accessibility. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because, you know, MPs will always have issues. Mm -hmm. The electorate are uh, raising issues. Yes. So some of the issues, uh, they can deal with the, the civil servants, but the other issues, they will want to engage one-on-one uh, -on -one with the president. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Indeed, uh, as uh, Martin has alluded, and as I actually uh, wanted to ask, do you think there is a solution to uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta's frustration? And um, my director tells me we need to pick, we need to pick up the pace. Mr. Oh, one is that, in fact, the route to go about this is that, in mm -hmm. fact, the, uh, leaving a handshake, a handshake aside, mm -hmm. Uhuru uh, is the president under the platform, uh, a platform of a coalition of parties. Mm -hmm which made the Jubilee Party. Yes. And uh, uh, it, is, it is of importance to him first to narrow this matter mm -hmm. in-house. Because mm -hmm. this matter is not matter to have escalated to this particular point mm -hmm. and to the way it now it looks in public. Yes. Because when the hand of seat talks with such anger in public, yes, yes. it tells you something is being yes. disconnected. Indeed. And uh, there is a problem. Yes. And let me tell you, one thing is that, in fact, there is no single day the head of state has made any effort to talk to his central region leadership. Yes. Not a single day. So you cannot accuse people, and you have not even had a word with them. Let me tell you, one thing is that, in fact, in politics, a politician needs some warmth. warmth. And therefore, if he has yes. no room to access you, yes. and you are not uh, taking him as, as you are just taking in all about him, mm -hmm. You just find look, look where he, he, he can have a comfort. Indeed. And in this particular case, mm -hmm. that is the difference between the two leadership. Uh -huh. That they are easily be able to access the, the DP office. Mm -hmm. And they are easily be able to access DP in person. No wonder the two divides, yes. right? Then, yes. they, as much as they would like to reach the head of state, yes. there is no such room. Uh -huh. So it is that particular office of the head of state yeah. which would open uh -huh. so that at least this leadership can feel warmth of that office. Uh -huh. But when you leave them out there, mm -hmm. and they are politicians, Yes, and they cannot just say that way. Mm. Because they need also to prepare themselves. Indeed. Yes. Okay. Uh, as uh, uh, Moshimua James uh, talked about, uh, he needs to call his people and have them sit down. Because uh, actually to access him, as he said, is uh, quite uh, a big problem. As we wind up, uh, is there uh, the, the, the talks and the kingpin, as you mentioned, as we began, uh, should they cool entirely, or as uh, Moshimua said, that politicians they still have to talk, 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 not forgetting there's a big four agenda and also uh, his legacy? He, he sent out a very strong message. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, the problem is uh, when, when you put uh, the guys under pressure, what they'll do is they'll go underground. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, as of now, there's no clear kingpin. Yes. And uh, I don't see somebody easily emerging 
And you know the Mount Kenya block is big yes. and is diverse. Yes. And we also need quite uh, to have been around for quite some time with also some serious uh, financial muscle so yes. that you are able to galvanize uh, and emerge as a kingpin. Yes. Maybe if Peter Kenneth had become the governor of Nairobi, mm -hmm. he would have had that opportunity. Yes. But you see now, uh, it's a challenge because, uh, and you know, the structure of government changed. So look at the lead of majority, lead of uh, minority, look at uh, the Senate. Now, it's not clear. Maybe if Muturi was uh, from the mainstream uh, Mount Kenya, mm -hmm. that would look a bit different. But you see, is coming from Bere, which is a minority. So yes, that indeed. poses also a bit of a challenge. Mm -hmm. Because the position he, he occupies is uh, very critical. And he's, he's senior, you know, he's the third senior most politically. Indeed. So that will give him an edge. Uh -huh. But does he have the gravitas and uh, the resources to emerge as a regional kingpin? I really doubt. Yes. So it's going to be very interesting. But you know, a day in politics is a very long time. Indeed. Yeah, and uh, you know, you can only rent politicians. Yes. So I think for the time being, Ruto has landed. The million who can still rent back those politicians. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you so much, uh, gentlemen. But uh, my director tells me we are out of time. This is a conversation, of course. Uh, we can uh, continue on and on. There's so much we could uh, cover ground. Uh, indeed, thank you so much. Uh, in case you're joining us, it's perspective. And today we're delving about uh, we're delving on the issue about the president's frustrations, and especially uh, yesterday, he also vented his anger, uh, mostly on uh, politicians who have made 2022 their everyday uh, talk. And I uh, was joined uh, by Honorable uh, James Mwangiga Kuya, who is uh, the Embakasi North MP, and of course, our resident uh, analyst and governance expert, Mr. Martin Andati. We're taking a short, quick break, but uh, my colleague is coming up next with the latest in business. Thank you so much for watching.